Elsewhere, Zimbabwe is setting its sights on the stars. The Southern African nation this week launched a national space agency. CGTN's Farai Mwakutuya has more from the capital, Harare. It may not put a man on the moon anytime soon, but Zimbabwe plans to send satellites into orbit to provide invaluable data to improve farming, mining, land and wildlife management. A drone, one drone that you use, probably you fly it and then you fly for 30 minutes and then you acquire data. You know, every 30 minutes you have to recharge it and then you acquire data and then it will be every 30 minutes it's carrying data for 30 hectares. But then now imagine if you have a satellite with the same type of camera focusing on the whole of Zimbabwe. So that means in that 30 minutes that you just did one 30 hectare plot, you will have done the whole country. A growing number of African countries are entering space exploration and realizing dividends that transcend the in vogue high tech industry. The focus these days is no longer on building big systems, which are very expensive because of tech technological advancements uh, and miniaturization of this, um, the building blocks of these systems. The satellites are now smaller and smaller. And also, the spin-offs that come about when uh, people are involved in space. I mean, once you're working in space, the area is very technologically challenging, so you are able to do anything. Uh, a lot of the, the, the trainees from the project, some of them, you know, established their own companies, which are flourishing today, doing very well. Developments that will come in handy for a country aiming to leverage ICTs to bounce back from economic setbacks of nearly two decades and achieve middle income status by 2030. While acknowledging that the ambitions are lofty, government believes they are achievable and is putting its money where its mouth is. I challenge you to fully utilize the commitment by my government to set aside <coughs> 1% of GDP towards the support of innovation, research and development. What it needs to do to make that dream come true is very clear, and in this particular case, it is very much rocket science. Something Zimbabwe intends to master. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare.